everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, excuse my appearance somewhat. I mean, actually this makeup still looks pretty good. But I've put my hair up in this like really tight bun. This makeup actually still looks really good and I've had it on for like 10 hours or so. Anyway, as you can see by the title today, I'm doing my beauty room tour and my makeup collection all in one. I'll also like include a little bit about my filming setup, what I use and all that kind of thing. Um, I have been asked to do this video a lot and I've just kind of, how goes my t-shirt, I've just kind of really slowly been collecting furniture and things like that so it's a long process and I'm pretty happy with it now. There's still a lot of things I want to add and things I want to change but like financially I can't afford to do everything I want to the room. Also renting this place, this flat so I can't change like the carpet which I would love to change so yeah, there's a few things and like more furniture, but buying IKEA Alex stuff is expensive. So yeah, um, so I'm not gonna ramble on too much more. Um, I'm gonna have Hamish helping me film, so hopefully we can get like good angles on things. So yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in to my full beauty room tour and my makeup collection. Yeah, when you walk into the room, kind of almost directly ahead of you, you've got my whole like beauty desk set up. Um, I'll go through everything individually, like where I got it, how much it was, I'll list everything in the description, but it's just Ikea Alex stuff. Um, and on my desk, yeah, we'll go through everything individually. I'll move you into this other corner. Just a slightly different angle beside my beauty desk, pretty much opposite the front door. I've got this chair. It's a chair, you sit on it. Um, yeah, I got this chair in um, TK Maxx. It's just got like a rug and a pillow on it. This was, I think, £129 for this chair. Ooh, um, I like it. Ow, just hit my bum on the corner. So the camera is now sitting where that chair is in the corner and this is my backdrop. You see this in pretty much every single video. This is Ikea Malm, M-A-L-M. Um, this is like one whole wide unit and this was like 80 pounds or so, which I thought was a really good deal. So I got that for my backdrop. And then my lights are from Amazon. They're much wider, but I've just doubled them over. And then these glass cases, I'll show you them up closer in the plants and stuff. But this is the backdrop. I needed something in the background of my videos. Just awkwardly bending over here. So that's the backdrop. And then this is a view, another view of my beauty table. So like I said, we'll go through it all individually, but this is from the other, like beside my backdrop. Um, and on this side here, you can see I've got like a, what was that called, a cork board just with stuff on it. And yeah, I think now is the time to kind of go through things a bit better. Um, so yeah, now we will come in and I'll do like close-ups of things um, and tell you where it's all from. Is this how makeup collection videos get done? I don't know, I can't even see if I'm in focus to be honest because my camera is so far away. But let's, let's begin. I'm gonna start with my backdrop unit. This top drawer is underwear, like, cause I get ready in here in the morning and pajamas, so I'm not gonna go in that drawer. This drawer here is really boring, but we all have like a really boring drawer, I'm pretty sure, in our, like, in our storage. This drawer here is basically all like tech stuff. So everything from my Style Pro, which by the way, Love my Style Pro. Um, I've even got like spare brush pot holders. This is like the diffuser for my ring light, which I don't use. And then I've got like straighteners, hair dryer, cables over here. Oh, my new, my new phone case box for when I sell it eventually. This bottom drawer is also clothing. Couldn't remember what it was. On the right hand side, I do have like makeup stuff in this drawer. Um, this is all kind of stuff I've been sent recently. Not the dimes. I got them when I was in Ikea as a present for my brother. It's so hard not to open them. So I got sent some new stuff recently. Things like, oh, I got the OPV rainbow palette. I don't know if you've seen this. Let me know if you want a video on this because 
so pretty. I really need Hamish's help here. Hamish is holding the camera so if it's slightly wobbly that's why but he's being very helpful. So yeah I got sent this OPV rainbow splash palette which is awesome. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Hamish. Let me know if you want a tutorial with that and then I've got a bunch of like face masks, hair care, face gems, stuff. This is like the new stuff that I've been sent in the past few days so that's that. This drawer, clothing, clothing. So that is my back, my back stuff. Don't let Hamish see those and we'll move on to makeup. So this is the top drawer of my um, desk. And we'll go through these drawers first. So this is my foundation drawer. Um, I'm a little bit of a foundation-aholic. It also goes all the way to the back. Like there's foundations at the very, very back. So I have a bunch. You know I love the new Makeup Revolution one. I've now got two shades. Um, really love my Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I've got three of those. Love my NARS. But then today, this is the one I'm wearing. Like I said, I've done a video on it, so. Love that. I mean, I love foundation. It's a little bit of an addiction, so that's my foundations. I'm not gonna go through every individual item because that would just take us way too long here. Ones that I'm not entirely sure about yet are like Bare Minerals, Bare Pro. Not sure I actually really like that one. Or, oh, this one. Jiffy's Born This Way, don't really like that, but I've not tried it enough to say I hate it, so. Let's move on to the next draw. So this drawer is a bit more organized. This is my powders. So at the very back, I've got like massive ones that don't fit anywhere. So I really like the Nabla one for carving out my bake. RCMA, translucent, not no color. And then these are like face powders. So Laura Mercier is my favorite. Really, really, really love the Kat Von D one as well. Oh, and I love the Hourglass, but it's so expensive. I only got the mini one. And then some drugstore favourites are um, this one, Maybelline Matte Maker, it's really good. Really like the Milani one, as you can see I've hit pan on it. Um, this one's new to me, I actually just bought this today in Kiko. It's a powder foundation, amazing coverage. So we will test that on my Neep. Um, I've also got Ben Nye, but it's way too dark for me which is weird because it's fair. So that is my powders, this is a... Um, acrylic makeup storage. I get these on Nouveau Luna on Instagram. I will show you. I'll link it down below because they're great. This is the palette organizer though. I'll show you the compact organizer which is way better which is what I wanted for here but they were out of stock. So that's powders. So the next drawdown is my concealers which again is a little bit of an addiction of mine. So this whole one here these are all just like plastic cases from, I think the pound shop actually, and I just squeezed them in so they don't move. So I've got everything from all the shades pretty much of the Revolution one, because they sent them all to me. And then some new ones that I picked up just over the past couple of days is the Gosh High Coverage, and then I also picked up the Sleek Life Proof, so I've not used this one yet. Um, my favorite concealer of all time is the Urban Decay All Nighter, you all know this really love the Revolution Pro one as well, it's so cheap and good. Um, bunch of Ellie Girl, love that. Love EX1, love Collection. And then this is just a massive concealer palette, which I don't really use to be honest, but it'll be good for cutting creases. Use this every day for cutting a crease if I'm cutting my crease. It's the Meron one. So good. And then this one I just keep for sentimental reasons because it was the first high-end concealer I ever bought. And I wouldn't use it now. I don't even think they still sell this, but I loved that at the time. I'll not go through the next two drawers in great detail because we just did a big declutter. But these are my eyeshadow palettes. Um, most used eyeshadow palettes in this top drawer. I did just add the Huda Beauty Sapphire one. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, but you would have seen me clear out all this. And then same with the bottom drawer, um, which you saw, but there has been a few new additions. So like the ABH Sultry palette, that's my feet. And then the one I'm wearing today, which is the Dose of Colours Friendcation. 
Don't tell Hamish how expensive that was. There we go. So that was the left hand side. Now we're going to go look at the right hand side. Many more drawers to look at. Hamish is really bored already. This is my makeup towel. So it's grotty, but ignore that. So first drawer up here is... Oh, I like this drawer. This is makeup sponges and setting sprays. Um, yeah, sponges and setting sprays. I really love setting sprays. I really like the Glam Glow one, but it's so expensive. Also really like the Iconic London ones. Again, so expensive. My favorite thing for wetting... You're so annoying. Honestly, I've asked hate oh, right. My favorite one for wetting metallic eyeshadows is the Primark Primer Water. Really, really, really love the collection Primed and Ready one. And, oh, I also really like the L'Oreal setting spray, but I just ran out of that, so I don't have it. I've got the little mini Urban Decay ones. A lot of Mario, 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 Mario Badescu ones at the back. And then sponges, but they're boring, so getting a lot of my hairy ankles in here. Oh, this is the compact divider I was talking about. This to me is kind of like drawer organization porn. This is the compact divider. Wait, what? Porn? Makeup porn. It's a very widely used term. So this to me is like makeup organization porn. Hamish is not sure of that term, but we all know it. So if I take a few of these out, you can see that these are all like individual trays, they're incredible. This thing I think was £25 and it's amazing so I got all my bronzers in here. So things like L'Oreal Back to Bronze, really, really like that. Really love my Milani ones, you know that. Um, new MUA ones, these are incredible and they're so inexpensive. My, this one's a little bit too big for the drawer. Summer of Love is a great one by I Heart Revolution. Oh, I really like this W7 one, also very inexpensive. Some high-end ones I love are my Too Faced Milk Chocolate. Um, I also, I do really like this Hourglass one. It's just not worth 45 pounds. That's just insane. And then I love my ABH ones a lot. They're really, really good. So. That drawer to me is so nice and I just need to fill up these gaps and then it'll be great. So the next drawer down is blush. Um, I've not got another organization, bit organizer in this drawer, but I've got like this tray. So I've got some like big blushes at the front and then a bunch of smaller blushes. Um, a few of my favorites, just so this video isn't too long. Benefit Coralista. This is a new one and I really like it. Illa Masca Naked Rose. What else? Benefit Dandelion is one of my favourites. Really like this MUA one. Peach. Um, Milani Luminoso. It's not it. It's this one here. It's just beautiful. Um, I've also got a lot of the ABH like blush trios. These are really, really good. Um, a MAC one from Christmas like two years ago, which again, I couldn't really afford like high-end makeup at that point, so that's like more sentimental to me now. Um, oh, I really like the L'Oreal Life's a Peach one. And then here I've got some like blush sticks, and then at the side I've got more blush palettes, so, like the ABH ones, um, not that one. This one's really nice, the Makeup Revolution one and very inexpensive. So that's my blush drawer. Blush doesn't really get me excited, so I'm not like too excited about that drawer, but you know what I mean. This drawer here is my contour palettes. This is an, in another organizer, so they're all standing up really nicely. Contour kit from ABH, classic. Really like this Imagination one by Makeup Revolution. Oh, I don't know if I'm blinding you. That's really good and pretty inexpensive. I've also got a couple of bronzers in here that are too big for my bronzer drawer. Um, this Wet n Wild one's incredible, which by the way, they're now in Boots Wet n Wild, so didn't take them long. Um, I've got this Tarte one, which I really, really like. And then a lot of like cream contour kits, like the Meron, that's the powder one, the cream ones at the back. And um, my ABH one, 
And then I've got both of the NYX contour palettes. Really, really like those. I love contouring. It's one of my favorite parts of makeup. So that's that drawer. And then the last drawer is really boring. So we'll just zip over it. It's like hair tools and scarves and jewelry. So this is my newest Ikea Alex unit. I got the wide one. This isn't ideal because it's not the same height as my desk and stuff, but I needed the extra storage. So yeah, let's jump into what's in here. So the top drawer is one of my favorite drawers in my room. Um, this is all my false lashes, which take up an entire drawer. I love false lashes. The Sose ones are like some of my favorites. I also really love doll lashes. Really, really love pinky goat lashes. Just look how dramatic they are. They're insane. Um, I love a lot of lashes and I need a lot of lashes because I use them every single day. So I've got a lot. I love gathering them and buying them. They're expensive, but I love them. This next drawer is pretty satisfying, I must admit, if I can open it without moving everything around. This drawer is on my like spare brushes, overflow brushes, brushes that I intend on cleaning at some point and probably giving them all away, apart from a few. Um, I've decided that I only need two pots of brushes. So all of these ones at the front, and these go pretty deep. These are all eye brushes. That's an eyeliner. There we go. Um, these are all eyeshadow brushes and then all the back ones are obviously like face brushes. There's some in here that I really, really like. I just have kind of replaced them with other brushes. And then in the middle, I've got these two Eloise like things. I just honestly think the packaging is incredible. I wouldn't use these brushes personally for foundation application, but they fit in between that so satisfyingly that I've kind of kept them, but they're definitely going to go on a giveaway at some point. It's a golf club brush. This next drawer is skincare and primers. So I've got like most of my moisturizers here, some of the ABH hydrating oil. They just sent me a new one because I think they repackaged it. That's the old one. Um, I really love this Ordinary Toner. I think it's amazing. So I've been using that a lot recently and I think my skin's really improving. And then over here I've got my Ordinary Moisturiser which I use every day under my foundation. Um, my Ico Ibis Serum that I really love and then these are like serums and oils and stuff like that. Which I do use most nights. I'm not great at skincare, but I do try. And then over on this side, you'll probably see these bottles that look like Pixie Glow Tonic. I just went to Aldi today actually and got these. These are the Aldi version. So I'm gonna put them to the test and see if I like them. And I also got the um, Charcoal Mud to Foam Cleanser to try. And then primers at the back, which you know I don't really use, but I have some. So I do really like Benefit Professional. I actually really like oh, this Soap and Glory one heck of a blot. And then I've got my pill and my biotin and my long fill lashes, which you all need to buy if you're trying to grow out your brows. So that's my kind of skincare drawer. It's not the best, could be better, but there we go. And um, what's in here? This is like makeup removal, so all my face wipes, cotton pads, my cellar water, and then this one at the side is just like my pill and nitol in case I need to drug Hamish. And then in the middle I've got my moustache trim trimmers that I get on Amazon, and I shave my moustache with them. This drawer is empty, that was boring, and then this drawer, oh this is all just like dry shampoo, hairspray, tan, which I never do, deodorant, stuff, you know, stuff in that drawer there. Hamish has left us for now because he's really bored and he hates makeup. So on the left hand side of my desk, I've got this acrylic storage case. This was from eBay. This holds a lot of my lip products. I actually don't own that many lip products in my opinion. Um, so I've got like all my ABH matte liquid lipsticks at the top here. I'm not going to go through everything individually. Um, but I do really like that formula. It's not my favourite because it is quite drying. But there we are. In the second drawer I've got more 
like drugstore ones. So I've got a lot of the Maybelline longwear ones. My favorite Primark lipsticks. These are so good. Um, favorite Maybelline ones. You know I love a pale nude. Some sleek at the back. I use that drawer quite a lot. Like I reach for it quite a lot. Um, this next one down is more just random brands. So I've got like Too Faced, Nip and Fab, Kat Von D, MDM Flow, some Colourpop, some Coloured Rain. These are all my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and then these three are my Dose of Colours ones but they all kind of fit together in that drawer. So I've got them in there. These, I've got a couple of lip plumpers at the back and then all these are by a brand called Delicious, delicious. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, they sent me all their liquid lipsticks and I've not really had a chance to play with them yet, so still got them there. And then the bottom drawer is all lip liners. I love lip liners. Premark lip liners are some of the best. So that is what is there. And then on top of that unit, I've got this. Um, this is actually like a eyeshadow, like single eyeshadow holder. These are like the little wells. Um, and I just have like my ABH and my MAC lipsticks in there. I think I've got a few more of each um, somewhere else, but I just thought that looked quite nice standing on top of my desk. I also always have my laptop sitting on the left hand corner because usually when I'm putting my makeup on, I watch videos or even when I'm filming, I watch videos when I'm like adjusting things off camera or like doing one eye. So I always have my laptop there and then that's my telephone. So that is the lipstick tower we were just talking about. This is my monitor. I got this on Amazon. It was only like 60 pounds or so. And I now have this for filming with my YouTube videos. So I can now actually see on a big screen if I'm in focus or not, which has been so, so, so helpful. Um, so that sits there because my camera usually sits right here, like in between where this mirror is and that monitor. The tripod and camera that I'm using right now sits here, so it sits, my camera probably sits right in between my ring light, so like right in this gap. So I've got my screen, my ring light, my camera, and then this mirror just kind of moves around as I need it. Um, so this is how I film, I've got my two umbrella lights that you can see, both of those are from eBay, I'm pretty sure, like, like maybe three years ago, a long time ago. They've done me really well. I've replaced the bulbs like once, um, but apart from that, they've done me well. I do want to definitely upgrade my lighting and get the kind of bank lights um, that Raw Beauty Christie was talking about recently, but until I can afford them, like my lights do well. And my ring light was a really good investment. This was only £100, so it's not like a massive investment, but to me, I mean, just spending £100 on something like that, it's, you know, it's a lot of money, so. Um, but I'm so glad I got it and it's really changed the like lighting quality of my videos and it's dimmable I will link it down below if you need a ring light it's good but it's like a proper big one I don't want to blind you I probably won't and you can dim it you can dim it and brighten it and things it's really good I'm so glad I bought that and then on the right hand side of my makeup table I've got my two brushes my two pots of brushes didn't clean them for this video obviously my face brushes that I use mostly and then these are the eye brushes that I find myself reaching for um, things like the ABH A25 is incredible I love my Nima brushes they're an Irish company Morphe brushes are amazing, they really are. Um, and then Zoeva are some of the best brushes I've ever used. I remember when I was like 16 or 18, and it's before I got into YouTube or even watching YouTube really, and I bought fake Zoeva brushes on eBay for like 11 pounds for like a set of 50 or something. And I thought they were good, because they were pretty good, but these are another level of good actual Zoeva brushes. Very, very, very much worth the investment. 100%. Then here, this is a really lovely storage box by Her Clutter Box, it's called. Um, very expensive. They actually sent this to me, um, which I thought was really nice of them. But would I purchase it? 
Probably yes, actually, to be honest, that's my wedding and engagement rings. Um, it opens up at the top so you can reach things, but also what I really love about her clutter box is it comes with dividers so you can really section off stuff. So this top section, I could really do with Hamish's help here. Dare I go and get him. So over on this left side, I've got most of my like black eyeliners, pencil eyeliners, but I've also got like nudes and blues. Then I've got my glitter eyeliners, you know I love the collection Glam Crystals a lot. Then some like random ones that I got on Amazon, they're actually pretty good. And my NYX Vivid Brights. And then lots of random pot glitters, pot glitters, the best NYX glitter in the world, it's apparently always out of stock, shade 03. It's so beautiful. Then I've got all these um, like random sleek single eyeshadows that they sent me. I could do a video on it if you're interested, but yeah, I don't know, I just feel like single eyeshadow releases aren't that exciting. Maybe I need to put them in a palette and then I feel more excited about them. And then my kind of a baby of mine, but it's so expensive and I never use it because it's hard to use. Dose of colors tell me more. Is this in focus, Hamish, because mm -hmm. it's so mm -hmm. beautiful. It's so beautiful, I need people to see. And then you know an obsession of mine is like glitter, obviously. Um, so I've got a lot of my glitter shadows in here. So the um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners. I've got a few of those, they're gorgeous. I'm kind of getting a collection now of the um, Lottie London ones as well. They're so beautiful. We got my Stila babies. I've got five Stilas. That little compartment there is worth like £150 or something. They're so ridiculously expensive. Um, collection Glam Crystals. My Barry M's. You know I'm obsessed with these. And then I got this BH Cosmetics one, which I've actually not used on camera. Um, this is stunning. Like, holy mackerel. Holy moly. Oh, and then a bunch of the Eloise ones. I've just not used them on camera yet. Um, this next drawer is a drawer that I'm very proud of, although it's very messy. You know I love brows, and this is my brow drawer. Um, new favorite brow brush is the Zoeva 317 Wing Liner. It's amazing. Um, ABH Dip Brow, I've got like eight pots of that in here. The Ico brow gel is amazing, but so is the ABH clear brow gel. I've got all the different pencils, like the definers, brow whizzes, perfect brow pencils. This pinky goat one that they just sent to me. Not tried it yet, more ABH. Benefit Gimme Brow is incredible. I've literally run out this morning with my Cabrow, so I need to buy a new one. And what else? I've got Wonder Brow. Brows, I love brows. I've also got my like eyelash tools in here as well, so like glue and tweezers. But I actually did have that brow, that drawer clean at one point, but it just gets messed up as I use it. And then lastly down here is my highlighter drawer. I did a big declutter, which should be up on my channel already. If not, it's coming soon. So I've got a lot of palettes on my ABH palettes down here. I've got all of them, I'm pretty sure. And then like sleek solstice. I'm not gonna go through these in detail because like I said, I've done a whole video. This one's new though. The MUA Prism one. So pretty. Like it's so nice. But I need to like properly try it on my face. And then liquid ones at the front. Iconic London. Benefit. Yeah. But like I said, I've done a whole video on that, so that'll be up soon. If you've not seen it already. And then just beside that container is my other lipstick tower. I have to have it here. It's where my monitor is now. So it's annoying that it's here, but it is here. I've actually got more ABH matte liquid lipsticks. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Um, this drawer is, wow, this drawer is packed. Makeup Geek Collection, Sleek, NYX. I've still got some matte lipsticks. So this is more like lipstick, but to be honest, the ones on this side, I don't use as much as the other drawer. Um, more liquid lipsticks. This Nabla one's very pretty. And my MAC Retro Mattes, which are honestly probably like 
out of date now but I'm not getting rid of them because they were expensive and I just like looking at them and then I've got Huda Beauty lip strobe and then Sam Marcel it's again it's another company I haven't really heard of but they sent me all of the liquid lipsticks and actually they're so beautiful and so pigmented that I want to really play with them so I've kept those and they smell like vanilla cupcakes this drawer is empty ready for more exciting things and then this drawer is mascara which isn't that exciting to look at but look we've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara have you heard of that Hamish? Mm. Better Than Sex mascara Aye. cheeky isn't it? and Ico things like that that's mascaras they're not very exciting are they? that is my makeup collection guys I thought we were done but we're not done so on my backdrop which you would have seen earlier I have some more cases. These are from the Glass Makeup Company or something like that. I'll link them down below. So I keep a lot of my loose glitters here just because they fit well here. So I've got like all the new ABH ones. I've done a video on these. Sarah's are Cosmetics on Instagram do great glitters and they're much cheaper than like ABH ones. And um, that's a sleek one. I've got tons from like Impress Me Official, another company on Instagram. And then down the side, I've got my like pots. So like, um, you know, like the Maybelline color tattoos. Cause I don't really reach for them that often, but I like having them here in case I need them. So that's what's down that side. And then in the bottom, I've got like loose pigments. Oh, and more glitters just down here. So yeah, loose pigments, a lot from Smolder Cosmetics, and the bottom ones are all Sample Beauty. Um, I don't really reach for loose pigments that much, but I do like the Sample Beauty ones for doing like really wacky color liner. Um, more from Sample Beauty, Stila, Sigma, Lux, La Rose. I get contacted by a lot of like indie brands, so a few of these are indie. And then here, more glitters. So these are like matte glitters and pigments, matte. Um, more sample beauty ones, more smolder ones, and then like my revolution, um, like little pot things. You know what I mean. And then the one on this side, which is reflecting on my roof light, is where I keep my perfumes. So I've got like my Jo Malone's. I really like that Salvatore Ferragamo one, although it's almost finished. Mrs. Gloss made me do it. It's incredible. I need to buy the full size. Nina Ricci is my favourite perfume of all time. And then I actually really like this saucy one. Quite a saucy smell, great for like nights out or like hot dates, you know. This cabinet is another one by the same company and it's got two drawers at the bottom. These are all though like individual so you can like stack them up really tall or have them separate like I do. And this is a plant that I've somehow kept alive from Ikea. But that, guys, is my makeup room and my makeup collection and storage. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of my makeup room considering this used to be a bedroom. It's a spare bedroom in our flat and I used to film in like a corner of my bedroom. Like I'm so happy that I've got this space where I can just come in here and like close the door and just be at one with my makeup it's my relaxation place it's my favorite thing to do so yeah i really 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 love this room and um, i just recently painted it white and um, so it should it's like much brighter feeling i mean i'm bad at painting and um, but i need to get you know things like more artwork i want to get like a floor plant and things like that but all those things just come over time and like Every month that I get paid, you know, I buy another little thing for my room. So like my Alex set that I got, I got that when I got paid. Um, I'd like another one, but I'll need to wait till I get paid. You know what I mean? Like it's just a like process over time. And also I want to get like autumn inspired stuff for my backdrops that when I'm filming like autumn looks, it's more kind of, you know, theatrical and fun and ambiance yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think and um, i'll link everything i can think of down in the description box or tell you what it is and where it's from in terms of my actual camera i use a canon eos m10 it's a vlogging camera i don't have like a big dslr or whatever they're called um so i just use a canon eos m10 
on a tripod that Hamish already had for free and it's great it's got a flip screen and um, so up until now I've been able to see myself on this little screen above the lens I don't know what lens is on it I don't know what any of that means I need to kind of get more tech savvy but I do plan on upgrading my camera and things soon like I want to get an external mic and stuff but again all of that kind of thing just takes time but I'll link some of my favorite makeup products down below that I have in my collection and also like my storage and all that and I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think and um, if there's any makeup bits that you saw when I was going through it and you want to see videos on them let me know and yeah I think I think I need to just put my camera back and then edit this video I've done a lot of talking a lot of talking thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna go now bye so awkward at goodbyes goodbye Bye friends. Oh, I can take my eyelashes off now. That is the best feeling in the world.